Detroit tradition continues as the season begins to change. All right, and you know fall's not too far away, and that means <laughs> the Franklin Cider Mill now open for business, and that's where we find Fox News' Veronica Meadows with a closer look. How many donuts have you had this morning, Veronica? Oh my gosh, Charlie, we have to pace ourselves with the donuts, right, Melanie? We can't eat all of the donuts at one oh, time. Oh no, you will get a stomach ache if you eat them all at once. But if you just take one at a time, trust me, you're going to say, I want to step at one. There's no way you can. You will keep on going until about the third one, then you'll take a break, and you'll for sure grab a slush or a hot cider to wash it down, and you'll keep on going back for more. Yeah, so I think that's a good point. Like three donuts is a, your good starting point, and then you have to, you know, follow it up with some apple cider, see how you're feeling. But even if you're full, you're not going to stop eating them. Absolutely not. They're just so mouthwatering and warm and crispy on the outside, and you just got to keep on going for more. I mean, we have people do them in one bite sometimes. We just watch them and we laugh all day long with it. What would it be like just trying to like fit a whole donut inside and swallow it all at once? I cannot even imagine that. But besides donuts, here, come over this way, Melanie, because we're going to have you show us some of your other delicious treats that you have here besides donuts. Okay, so we have our fresh baked apple pies. We carry them plain baked. We carry the Dutch apple, as you can see right there. We have a fresh baked tin that's made just for us. We have a banana, a zucchini, a pumpkin. We also have a new honey apple, which is apples mixed with honey. Sometimes um, they mix it up. It tastes different every single time that you come. We also have our freshly baked pull apart apple pie bread which is amazing you can eat it plain you can eat it with butter you can toast it you can heat it up or you can just open it up here when you're on site and grab it dip it in your cider slush hot cider and have a delicious bite as well how on earth do you all come up with all of these fun treats throughout the season? I think that so many people, vendors, come to us every year and say, oh my God, we have a great new thing to make for you guys with your apple cider, with your donuts. And we let them create whatever they want to do. We try them out. We pick the best of the best that we think we will like, our customers will like, and we try them out and we'll see how it goes. So really kind of like working together, being open-minded, because at the end of the day, you could have something that's awesome that you just don't know about yet. Exactly, 100%. And I feel like sometimes when I'm out in the off season, I look around and I try things and I'm like, oh, this would be interesting with our apple cider and our donuts and what we do here. And we try to mix it up with our people and it's awesome. Awesome. Well, fall traditions, definitely something us all Michiganders all look forward to, especially during the fall. And there's a rich history at the cider mill as well. This cider mill was built in 1832, which was quite a long time ago. It was intended to be a grist mill because there were wheat and corn farmers here who needed their, their crops um, turned into flour. Uh, around the turn of the century, there was a huge flood and problems were in the mill. And in 1920, a guy by the name of Rob McGee began turning this place into a cider mill. There were lots of orchards around, and so this cider mill has been in process since about 1920. And we are a national historic site for that reason. Wow, 1920 is a cider mill. What's it like being able to own a slice of history here? It's been an amazing thing for our family. It has been cherished for, from our family, and so Melanie and I are the third round of our family members who are running this mill. My father, my brother, and now Melanie and I. And so it's been just a great opportunity for us and for our family to all come in and help out. From Melanie's children to my children, everybody joins in, and it's a great process for our family. Well, if you have a family business, what better way to celebrate it and share it together than by having a family business that's really geared towards families. It is. I used to think that we were the only family with a tradition here, but every single one of our customers that I talk to say, my grandfather brought me here, I'm bringing my children, my children are bringing their children now. So there's a huge history with many families in this area. That has to be really cool for you. When we were here a little bit ago, we talked to a gentleman who was from New York and he was back visiting his kids here, but I'm sure that's not a surprise to you. No, I got a call just yesterday from someone from Ohio who was planning a trip and wanted wanting to know what was the best time of the day to come so they weren't overcrowded. And we've really managed our crowds well. So for people who remember the long lines, we're not doing long lines anymore. We've got multiple areas for sales. We've got lots of different locations for people to 
be. And we've got great entertainment now. On weekends, we've got jazz concert going on in the afternoons um, on Saturday and Sunday. We have a new magician who's joined our crowd. And one of the better things that all of our customers are asking about are, are our cider dogs back? And so finally this year, because of no COVID, we're able to have hot dogs and our cider dogs, which are hot dogs that are marinated overnight in our cider, and they are divine, absolutely divine. Okay, I think we may have something that we have to try throughout the morning here, and that is going to be a cider dog. I have never heard of those before, but if you say they're good, I'm going to take your word for it. I think we invented them, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I really think that it was it was a made-by-the-Peltz family idea to begin taking the hot dogs and boiling them originally in cider, and now we're marinating them. So the process has gained a little bit of, of legs underneath it as we increase the quality of our product. Oh, my gosh, you guys. Cider dogs in addition to cider donuts and, of course, all of the treats you see here. Franklin Cider Mill is now open for the season. You can find more hours on your screen as we speak. Doors are set to open in just a little bit. And like uh, the owners have been saying here, they have everything figured out. So they are managing the lines so everybody can come out and have a great time with your family. We'll see you in a little bit. For live Reporting live, Veronica Meadows, we'll send it back to you. You know, uh, Veronica, I have a question for you. What city is the Franklin Cider Mill in? Bloomfield. Uh, ah. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to take a guess. And then, no, no, no. No, no, no. I think is it's that Bloomfield Hills. It Am I right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Bloomfield Hills is where our cider mill lands in terms of where we sit. But right across the street is Franklin Village, which is absolutely a great village to walk through and enjoy the village and the old ambiance of this great historic village in Michigan. Try, Charlie, you tried to get me. You're going to have could, to try I couldn't, harder. I couldn't get you, but it is a little trivia question. I don't know the history of it. Why? Why it, It's called Franklin, but it's in Bloomfield Hills. But that's okay. I don't care about that. Where are the donuts? You know, Scott the stagehand is working this morning, and I know that we had some here. They're gone. I, what happened to them? Scott, the stagehand strikes again. I mean, Charlie, you are just out of luck today because let me tell you, you may not have donuts, but we're going to have some donuts. Oh. And they are going to be fresh and warm. And But if you're nice to me this morning, maybe we'll bring you back some. Ooh, but no all guarantees. Right. All right, Veronica. Well, we'll definitely check in with you a little bit later. All right, Scott.